So these conch are obviously a variety of sizes and ages, but they grow enormously fast for snails. This is probably a one-year-old animal. Last summer it was a tiny little larva. It settled down and it's been growing the whole year. It's now, you know, a quarter of a pound or so. They just eat algae, but they eat it voraciously and they grow like a shot. This is probably a two-year animal and you can see as it gets bigger, the, the aperture here, the opening in the shell, widens out uh, and it continues to form these little bumps. That's a new bump that's just forming. What are the bumps for? You know, they're probably for uh, for protection, or they're to keep the animal from you know from rolling over a whole lot in the uh, in the on the bottom when it's young, particularly when they're when they're this size. You know, notice how how spiky the the bumps are on the little ones compared to the bigger ones. And then as the animal gets older and starts to become sexually mature, the the opening flares. See how the opening is now wider and it's beginning to be a little ruffled like this. That's because as the shell is being formed, the mantle pushes this way and it makes a lip on the outside edge of the shell. We know this is not a sexually mature animal because it doesn't have a fully formed lip. But when that animal does become sexually mature, then this is what you've got. The lip is fully formed. It now lays flat against the surface of the sand as the animal cruises along. And uh, basically it won't grow much after this. It's, as, it's at its adult size. It's only uh, four, four years old or so. And uh, it has moved deeper in the reef. Now we caught this one at about 25 feet, uh, almost to the fringing reef where where uh, we decided that we should probably turn around and head back to shore. Whereas this one, the smallest one, uh, we, I collected just as we were about to hit the shore, maybe five minutes from shore in the eelgrass there. So that was in about six feet of water. That one was in about 25 feet of water. They start shallow and then they gradually move deep uh, where they spend the rest of their lives cruising around on the deep seagrass beds near the reef. When they lay eggs, then the larvae come out into the water, they move around in the water for four or five days, and then settle back down in the shallows again, and the whole life cycle starts.